Hi everyone! I just wanted to review a few products I bought at Walmart and I thought that you guys would like to know whether they have quality or not, so I decided to review them. So here we go. Um, the first item is Olay Active Hydrating Cream the in original and it's like this pink cream stuff and it has the weirdest smell it's like baby powder it's kind of gross but I don't know I don't really like it but I'll use it anyway because it's not like it's not too gross but it works I mean it makes your skin soft and stuff and makes it feel good so this I would recommend but you could probably find one that you like the scent of it better so um, this next item is hard candy I bought a lot of hard candy stuff because I heard good things about them and it is sheer envy tinted moisturizer with SPF 15 which I had a hard time finding tinted moisturizer for a while I bought some maybe two years ago and ever since that ran out I haven't bought any since but I really like it instead of foundation because I feel like when I'm wearing foundation, my face is all cakey, and I don't, know, I don't like it. So I, I buy this because it has SPF, and it feels light and nice. And I really like this. It goes with my skin well. Okay, it doesn't look like it on here, but once you blend it in, it, look, it looks good. It's in fair. And I really like this, so I recommend this. Um, the next item is this Hard Candy Eyeshadow Palette. It's in the shadows eyeshadow collection, and it's in these colors. It has one, two, five colors in it. Oop, my brush just just fell out. I haven't used this brush yet because I like my eyeshadow brushes, but um, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, it has all of those, which I really like the top one for um lining your eyes and stuff and it's it's pretty shimmery and stuff and it came with eye primer which is really nice because I couldn't find it anywhere else and I really like the primer it works really well so I also recommend that the next thing is this hard candy concealer palette it's called nobody's perfect which is cute and funny um, it has six things in it uh, I like the green one, especially because it's supposed to like cancel out the redness and pimples, which is kind of cool. And then it has like three shades of skin color, and then like a pink thing, and a more yellow thing. It's kind of cool. One thing I didn't like about this is the brush. I found it much easier just to put it on with your fingers. It's just like this little flimsy, I don't know, I don't like it flimsy and not not very good and also this thing this little brush comes with hooked on and this always gets stuck when I try to close it so I didn't really like that but this works really nice except for the brush um, next thing is covergirl lash ba last blast fusion mm -hmm. I can't talk fusion <laughs> It's volume plus length, which I like. Um, the volume, I don't really get it. Like, I don't see it, but the length, it works. And it has this big brush. It's in black brown. And I like it. It's a good mascara. I think it doesn't do much else than the orange one, which is just volume, but I haven't had that one in a while, so I should check that out again. But I recommend that mascara. And I got these five brushes at Walmart. They all came together, and it's it's like a carrying case, which is kind of neat. You can fold them up like this. Oop, one fell out. <laughs> That's one thing I hate about it. They always fall out. They're not these little things that are going around them. They're not tight at all, and they always slide around and fall out. So you can like take them out and put them in something else. That would probably be better. I don't know. I don't like the carrying case much. But the brushes are nice. And they're little. I like that. And they come in five different shape things. And they're just nice. And then finally, 
I bought All May Oil Free Makeup Remover and these Swispers cotton things, rounds. And these together are perfect for taking off makeup, especially eye makeup. And these work really well too. They get they absorb a lot. And then you just swipe them over your eye a few times and it takes off all your makeup and like if you swipe it around your face it'll take off your foundation or whatever but the one thing about this i didn't like is it made your face a little sticky and you have to like wash it afterwards because it feels disgusting but if you're getting these these are cheap and i don't know i really like these these are my favorite so yeah that's all the products i have to review from walmart and i just like to let you know that Walmart does have some good quality things. Of course, you're not going to get... You're going to get what you pay for, basically. That's the gist of it. But you can get some stuff there that I would recommend. So, see you next time, guys.